I began my career here at the Marion City Fire Department back in January of 2001. So I've been here for 19 years. Um, when I first became quartermaster, uh, one of the first things I had to do was order fire gear. Uh, I mainly got in contact with our sales rep. Uh, he brought in uh, stuff, measured the guys, and he was like, hey, have you seen this new stuff yet? And I was, you know, no, I haven't seen it yet. So he actually brought in a set of Tech Gen 71 fire gear and uh, showed me all the, the numbers on it and everything. And it, after seeing that, it was an easy choice. Uh, actually having it in my hands, seeing how much lighter the material is, uh, seeing the numbers as far as thermal protection and thermal heat loss on them uh, was better than anything else on the market at the time. Lieutenant Dex, our quartermaster, does an excellent job of finding gear that meets our department's needs as far as protecting our people and that still fits within the department's budget. Uh, right off the bat, the first thing we notice is the lighter weight. And as far as uh, damage to the gear, we haven't really seen much in the way of damage where uh, in the past we have had some gear that was damaged inside burning buildings. Oh, we're ecstatic over the fact that we made the switch to Tech Gen 71. When people pulled the gear out, put it on, uh, everyone was instantly impressed by the lightweight breathability of the, of the gear, how comfortable it was, and I've heard nothing but good things out of our firefighters since we've made that switch. Rehabbing our firefighters, especially during extreme weather conditions, is an issue. Um, so the, this gear has, uh, like I said, allowed them to, to do their jobs and not become worn out as quickly. It doesn't seem to trap the heat in the way um, our, our last manufacturer's gear did, especially in the, in the hot weather. Um, but in the cold, you, don't, you also don't seem to notice you know, the cold penetrating the gear. So midday through our shift, uh, we got a report of a structure fire uh, with entrapment. Uh, crews arrived, they had heavy fire showing up the back side of the house. Uh, crews went in to perform a rescue, and while doing this, uh, the room that they had entered had flashed over on them. Uh, the firefighter that was performing the rescue was wearing Tech Gen 71 gear at the time and uh, was able to survive the flashover. The only injury that he had suffered at the time was a small, minor steam burn on his shoulder. Uh, other than that, he came on unscathed out of the whole event. 